After years of rising tensions, last November's summit between President Xi Jinping and President Joe Biden near San Francisco aimed at stabilizing relations between the two biggest economies. The leaders agreed on a list of measures aimed at reducing tensions and increasing diplomatic engagement. And both sides have largely followed through. Chinese and U.S. diplomats have met increasingly across the world. The two militaries have restored high-level contacts, too, in a bid to avoid misunderstandings. However, in spite of the improved diplomatic environment, tensions remain. The U.S. has continued to increase restrictions on Chinese access to high-end technology, especially semiconductors. They've slapped tariffs on the import of Chinese electric vehicles, increased arms sales to China's Taiwan region, and while claiming that the U.S. doesn't take sides in maritime disputes in the South China Sea, Washington supports its ally, the Philippines, in its resupply of troops in the area. Beijing and Washington have also found themselves on opposite sides in the United Nations Security Council when it comes to the conflict in Ukraine and the war in Gaza. However, the U.S. has been pleased by a decrease in the flow of chemicals used to make the deadly drug fentanyl to Latin American nations and have re-engaged with China on climate change challenges and both have worked to lower tensions over Pacific Island issues. The recently concluded visit of U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan to Beijing with 14 hours of talks with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi and other officials culminated in a meeting with President Xi a further sign of a more cooperative relationship. These were constructive, candid, substantive conversations. We believe that keeping lines of communication open is critical. And while there's been an obvious noticeable improvement in U.S.-China relations throughout 2024, not so much guaranteed for 2025, largely because of the uncertainty surrounding November's presidential election here in the U.S. There has been improvement, but by no means guaranteed. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington.